So I land in Buenos Aires and get a taxi from the airport. We drive the widest streets I've ever seen, and it feels weird having a taxi all to myself. I go out for a beer, but it tastes like lemonade. Wander around the city, sleep in some dodgy hotel, then get on the next flight to Rio. On the Copacabana, the girls shake what their mamas gave them, and so do their mamas. I plan to go up Sugarloaf Mountain, but something else comes up. I catch a bus to Mexico. Hook up with a bunch of guys called Jesus and Jose and their dog called Bruce. I wake up four days later. Sure, buffet to second half. New York. I go to jazz bars, gay bars, strip clubs, nightclubs, Puerto Rican pickup joints, killing bourbon wire wire, when all I really want is be. I go to LA looking for movie stars, but all I find is some crazy guys on Venice Beach. Get a ride with a truck driver and wind up in the desert, flat on my back. So I go to Japan. The trains are more crowded than the taxis in Josie. Can't afford a hotel, so I walk the streets, try to eat soup with chopsticks, drink sake, and sing karaoke in Japanese with a bunch of computer salesmen. Next, I do China. Ask for a beer and get something I don't recognize. Don't think that ever seen a black man before. I go to Athens to get some culture. Instead, I meet a girl who tries to steal my taxi. She takes me to an island where we go clubbing. After three days, I'm like Umako Dilo, and I follow home to Newcastle, where her old man, brother, and me drink warm, flat beer, and it starts getting a little too cozy, so I catch a plane to Egypt. It's 46 degrees, I'm hot, I'm thirsty, and that's when it hits me. I am a South African, and only one thing can satisfy my thirst. 